And then the last thing we want to do is just take a look at the gradient option in terms of how, it, how it's used with multiple cameras. So just as a reminder is that if you place one in the scene, one of the reasons you can go edit mode, show a square, but then full screen, show the whole thing, is just so it doesn't get in the way of stuff. So for instance, if we have this one here and we go to our option for cameras, we can say that for this one you can change it to be used for any if it was actually a trigger. But for us what we want to do is just say that this is going to be for camera screen ID 0. And we're going to show it in the camera ID 0 as well. Now we're going to make a second one right here. And then let's change the color of it so that we're fully aware something happened here. All right, and then on the screen, the cameras option, um, we're going to change it to one so that we can actually view it through a second camera. So then on cameras, so we have one camera here that's actually going to be used for the uh, camera ID for this one, and then we're going to have the second camera here. And this is going to be used for screen ID 1, which means this camera will pick up any ID of 1, which this one is. And then we just want to make sure we grab our split camera here. And the split camera, we just want to say which way we want to use it, column row. So we'll say two columns split in the center. should be good. We'll double check that it's, uh, it may need some things to trigger it, so we'll just see how that works with it. Nope, it starts off right. So there you go. Now you have two screens, two cameras, and the split screen is showing the blue on this one, the green on this one. So again, you can set up, and if you had eight cameras, you could set up the, the eight with it if you wanted, or the four with it. Um, but this gives you a chance to be able to be very specific with your backgrounds. Um, it's the same scene, you know, as a, here, just as a quick for instance here, is that um, if I have uh, blocks inside my scene, um, I'm not actually doing anything different in terms of what's being rendered. Uh, it's the two different places if the cameras were moved to a different spot. The cameras right now are placed right in the same spot. But the uh, the objects are all going to be in the same places. So just so you know that you're you're seeing the same thing. And then if another character was in here, the only thing being different is that it can actually render a different background because it's looking for a different one. Um, if this one was set up for a uh, player two and the camera's player two, then it would actually be looking at it from that perspective. All right, so there you go. Just a simple way so you can see the, uh, the, the two screens can be used two different ways on the cameras.